BioDigital 3D Human is a 3D virtual exploration software that creates visualization of the human body in 3D space. It can be accessed via the browser or as an app on your mobile device. Head over to BioDigital website by typing biodigital.com into the URL at the top of your browser. If you already have an account and are signed in, skip to here. You will be greeted with two white buttons near the top of the screen launch human and request demo. Click on the launch human button. This will navigate you to the sign in screen. If this button does not work, it could mean that your graphics card drivers are not up to date. I will not go over how to update your graphics card in this video. Alternatively, you can scroll down to the bottom of the page and press the red launch human button. If none of these links are working for you, you can simply type this into the URL, which will take you straight to the login page, which will be in the description. Here you can sign in using an already existing Google account, or you have the option to create a separate account specifically for BioDigital. Once you have signed in, you should see a screen depicting all the systems of the body. You can go ahead and bookmark this page so that it can be easily accessed without having to type into the URL every time. This is called the dashboard. For example, if you wanted to know more about the lungs, you would click on lungs and breathing. Alternatively, you could click on the Explore drop-down menu and select the system from there. This will take you to another page with an in-depth view of the anatomy of the lungs. Note that you see a little lock icon next to the name of the part. This means these features are locked for non-premium members and can only be accessed through paid subscription. It costs $9.99 a year on mobile and $3.99 a month for PC access. I'm going to head back by pressing the back button. For the purposes of this tutorial, we will focus on the male complete anatomy, which has a basic overview of the male human anatomy and is completely free. Now that the human is loaded, we will go over key controls that will help you navigate the model in 3D space. These will be listed in the description for ease of access. To pan the camera left and right, up and down, hold the middle mouse button and move your mouse around. You can also hold the left and right mouse buttons simultaneously to pan. To zoom the camera in and out, scroll the mouse wheel on your mouse. To rotate the model around the center of rotation, hold the right mouse button or the left mouse button and drag the mouse around. I'll show you how to change the center of rotation point later on. Up here, you will see two tabs called Anatomy and Tools. Anatomy will open up a menu that will display an organized list of all the systems of the body. These can be turned on or off using these buttons here. You can see the lymphatic system and the integumentary system are already turned off. If you turn off the muscular system, all the muscles on the model will disappear. Using these drop down menus, you are able to expand each system into subcategories, which can also be turned on or off. Going even further down, you can eventually turn on or off individual anatomical structures of the body. Let's say you want to know more about the pectoralis major. You can use the camera controls to navigate to that area and left click on the muscle. An information window on the left hand side of the screen will pop up and give you more information on the muscle. Here it says, underneath the pectoralis major is the pectoralis minor. Now you want to find the pectoralis minor. You know that it is somewhere right here, but the pectoralis major is in the way. The first thing you can do is get a better focus on this area by double left clicking the pectoralis major to refocus your camera. This will change the center of rotation of your camera to the pectoralis major. You now want to see underneath the pectoralis major. To do this, hold down Ctrl and X on your keyboard at the same time and left click on any anatomical structure you would like to dissect and it will remove it. Now the pectoralis minor is visible. Now let's say you want to look at the spleen but you don't know where it is, or you don't have the patience to dissect all the structures away to get to it. You can head back to the anatomy tab and type in any anatomical structure you want to find. In this case, you want to find the spleen. Now just click on the spleen and the camera will autofocus to that structure and it will be selected. You will notice how you still can't see it. To see an x-ray view of the part, press X on your keyboard and now the spleen is visible. Press X again to exit X-ray view. If you want to enter isolated view, press I on your keyboard and again to exit isolated view. All these tools can also be found in the tool tabs at the top left, which will pop up at the bottom of your screen. 
Thank you for watching my quick start guide. Have fun looking up anatomical structures.